mathematics. Spirit Math 101 is wife, submit to your husband. If you like, call him honey. Peck him a thousand times. There's nothing you will do that will make this man continue to love you for 40 years unless as you submit to him. I know you people are getting married today, your emotions are on a rampage. You'll be shocked. After six months, after one year, you'll discover that even intimacy is responsibility. All these things that demons are whispering to you, hey, hey, well, after a few months, it will go down. You'll be normal. You will discover that it's not kiss, peck, and hug that will keep his love for 40 years. The only thing that can keep him loving you for 40 years is submission. Because in 40 years' time, your face will not look like this. Even if you put a whole bottle of, uh, of powder, the face will be sacked. So what he will be looking at will not be your face. In 40 years' time, what he will be looking at is not your chest. In 40 years' time, what he's looking at is not your lap. It's your submission. That's why the Bible said, let the countenance of meekness. There's something on your inside that the older you grow, the brighter it becomes. Your face will fail you. Everything you are looking at about your physical feature will fail you with age. Age will make sure of it. And the day will come, even powder will become a body. But the reason your husband will love you more and more 40 years later is because something sparkles from your inside. It's called submission. And the more you submit, the sweeter your relationship will become. It's a law of oneness in the spirit. And then when he came to the husband, he gave him a law. It's the law of death. He said, as Christ loved the church and gave himself. And so you can buy her flower, which you must. You can talk to her kindly, which you must. But the way the Bible recommends that you should love her is through sacrifice. And the way Reverend Hughes painted it, oh, what a blessing. Before he gave man the wife, in the garden of Eden, he slew the man and the man slept. That means only dead men can be husbands. Adam could not be awake. No. God slew him. It was in the state of death that God made him a husband. And so for you to be a husband, you must be dying daily. Sometimes you tell her something that you expect she should understand. And then you are going to Lagos, she's going to Kano. The easiest thing to do is to speak harshly. But you see, Christ doesn't interact with the church like that. So you will die. There are times when she will do something. You want to slap her. If you do it, you have violated the code. You will die. Because your job in dying is to refine her. He said that thou mightest cleanse her by washing with water by the word of God. And so every area of her life where there is weakness,